thought you were starting it. No, I thought you were. No, 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 no. Welcome to Guilted Into It. Oh, Jesus. I can never do It'll it right. It'll never be good. It's becoming a thing now. Yeah, I know. That's you know. why I thought you were going to do it. Well, no, because we were saying before, you do it, you do it. And I thought you were going to do it. And then you just sat here. All right, this is Guilted Into It. This is Guilted Into It. This is how we do it. Worst episode. It is not the worst episode. It's not know, the worst. It just started. You don't know. Well, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. We have a great we have a great guest. Yep. And uh, this will be my second time interviewing him. Oh. Yes. That's nice. Because I had him on Brace Yourself first. Right. Wow. TBC. So so we're gonna we're gonna talk about that. But Mark Sapula, his book is right there. We're gonna talk about his book. Right. But I want to talk about you, Bridget. Oh God. Actually, I want to talk about me oh. for a minute. <laughs> of course. Shocker. <laughs> so I don't want to brag. But I may have gotten a full shout out in the middle of class today at the gym. Oh, again. my God. And now, not only on my stellar form, but that I am so much stronger. I'm not even modifying the exercises anymore. I'm just doing them as they are supposed to be. Thank you, Nancy. Are you paying this woman? I am not. I am not. I just is Nancy getting a commission off no. of fluffing your ego? No. And I'm almost, almost a little embarrassed by it. Mom. <laughs> no, you're not. No. Every I'm not. time Nancy not. calls you out in class, you're like, no, whatever. Like, no. you're probably loving it. I do, I do like a little extra in the biceps when she calls me out. How heavy are the weights? Seven? Each one is seven and a half pounds, and you couldn't do it. Well, yes, I could. And then when I do the I bar, Nancy's class. the bar is 14 pounds. I took Nancy's class. And granted, there were times when I thought I was going to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> but I was, I was able to do it. My problem is I have no balance. So I'm like shaking on a lunge. Right. Well, you know, it it's can't just, all be you. just practice and practice your good form. Oh keep your core God. tight. You know, these are the things that you have to do. So seven's like the ultimate. Like, can you go beyond? No, I could do ten. Okay. But body pump, I don't usually because we do a lot of reps and oh then my, my arms God. feel like they're gonna fall off. I gotta be honest, I'm sick of this. <laughs> right? I'm sick of it. We get it. Oh my God. Just saying, you know. I'm... Are you gonna next next week? You're gonna be like Nancy asked me to teach the class. Again. <laughs> you're gonna be up at the front with Nancy. <laughs> No, next week maybe we'll do an exercise segment. <laughs> yeah, I'll watch you. You can you can educate I'll us. I'll show all you my perfect form. form. Bring your weights. The perfect form. Okay, good. I would like that. I'm just saying I was very um I'm happy for you. Pleased. Good. That all my hard work is paying off. Paying off in some area of my life. Mm -hmm. Well, good. I'm happy for you. Should I continue? Yeah, please. Please. So I had actually I did have a lovely afternoon today. Okay. I did. No, I really did. I went to the East Meadow Middle School. Right. And I met the cast of the Annie Jr. Now, let me explain how this all happened. Right. Please. And this is a very funny story, actually, because uh, a woman that I know, Jean Marie, she's, she, we met her early in our comedy days. Her daughter goes to the school. Her daughter got a part. And she thought, oh, wouldn't it be nice? I'll ask Roseanne if maybe she'll send a, a video clip to the kids, you know, tell them break a leg, whatever. So I said, where is the school? And she says, East Meadow. And I went, why don't I just come? Celebrities, and, so humble, aren't they? Just like, you're, they're just like us. So <laughs> I, I, but I thought, isn't that better than some video, right? No, that's nice. So first of all, and then I get a message from Martin Charnin's daughter, Sasha, her, she has a distant cousin who's in the show. Wow. And she reached out to me and said, hey, thanks for doing that. That's cool. She's in the show. So this Who was he in the, in the movie? Martin wrote the- Oh, he wrote. Wrote Annie. Oh, oh, oh. oh. So uh, wrote the music and the, 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 the lyrics and the, you know, the story. So the whole thing. So, yeah. He wrote anyway. the whole thing. Well, he, he worked what with Tom Meehan and Charles <laughs> Strauss. Oh, okay, okay. You know. Right. But anyway, I walk into this middle school auditorium. And I felt like I was in a Broadway theater. It was beautiful. They had tons of teachers helping. There were like 70 kids in the cast and they were the sweetest, most polite kids I've ever met in my life. Who was Pepper? Did you meet I did Pepper? meet Pepper. 
I did meet were Pepper. Were they excited to see you? They were. And they had such great questions. They were asking me all sorts of questions. Wow. And and they they wanted, and then they asked me to sing. So I sang a little bit. Of course. Don't make me sing. Of course. Um, she was like, oh, what if I must? <laughs> of course, oh, this song will come out. You probably <laughs> were ready. I know you were just like, I'll do it. Well, what was I going to say? No. Probably full choreography. You're never fully dressed without a smile. What'd you sing? I sang tomorrow. Yeah, sure. Well, that's what they asked for. Of course. You know. Mm -hmm. So, Did you but, remember the lyrics? Of course I did. Yeah. But uh, but it was it was really it was nice it was nice. So did they, someone back you up with music? No like, no I just sell uh, acapella acapella baby. Wow, she still got it. Still got it. She still got it. So but um but it was really nice and it was it was a lot of fun and then they all asked me to sign their scripts and some asked me to sign their t-shirts that they had made. And wow, it was nice. It was very nice. And then I went and I sat in the corner pizzeria by myself and had a lukewarm slice of pizza. So and just like that, you're up here one minute and you're down here the next. Life will humble you just <laughs> like that. Yeah. They, did they like perform for you? No, they had finished rehearsing already. And oh. then this, they had to get picked up and stuff like that. Right, right, right. So the show is, is this weekend. Are you going? I'm, I'm going to try. What day? It's, it's, um, probably Saturday, mm. probably on Saturday. I'm going to, I'm going to try. Right. They're going to have to. They asked me. They're going to have to hold you back they, from jumping on. She's going to be in the wings like, do you need a fill-in? You need an understudy? I heard the star to be was sick. Absolutely. Yeah, right. <laughs> You're going to find that little kid locked in a janitor's <laughs> closet somewhere. <laughs> like, where's Maria? She was supposed to be Pepper. Oh, my goodness. But um, but no. So that was that was my day today. I had a, I had a very nice day. That's lovely. I see you have your Annie necklace on. I did. I wore my Annie necklace for yeah. them to show them. Absolutely. You know. And they loved nice. it. They loved it. It was great. It's timeless. It is. You're a timeless star. I'm iconic. And you're not much taller now than you are in the film. Not much. Not much. So Just a little bit. Very easy to spot you. So and before we, we get into your stuff, because I know you I had... I'm wondering if I should sing my stuff now or if I should wait till Judy gets on, All because right. it's an opinion based. Oh, then yeah, so wait, because you know how she looks like she's well, having a not... stroke over there when she, no. she wants to chime in. It's not opinion based. You'll see when I like ask the question. It's more of a survey I've been taking this week. Okay. Because it came up. All right. So cool. maybe I'll, I'll wait till Judy gets on and we'll talk All about right. it. All uh, right. Hello, Anne. Thanks for watching. I just wanted to do um, a shout out. I was asked, I was uh, sent this message today from um, one of our loyal viewers, Paul. It's his daughter's birthday. Oh. He's not with his daughter. Uh, I guess, I don't know what she's doing. And uh, I just want to say to Tara, happy birthday. And I hope you have a great day. Happy birthday, Tara. All right. All right. All right. So are you ready for our guest? Sure. You That's met him. Yeah. We I met did. him in person, we, finally. We met him in Boston. After all these years of him and I, Facebook friends and text messaging, and we finally got yeah. to meet, which was great. But So we are going to bring on um, Mark Zapula, author of How to Dump a Body at Sea and Not Get Caught. Useful. I read his first book, The, the Last Longshoreman, which was written... Um, I guess, based on his dad and his experiences as a longshoreman up in the Massachusetts area. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to Gilded Into It, Mark Sapula. Hi, Rosanna and Bridget. Thanks for having me. Oh, thanks for being that, here. What's the best intro I ever saw? That the best. Oh, one. was it ever? You guys yeah, are both good. talking about it, this, that, and it was great. <laughs> So how really, are you? Really. How are things up there in Boston? Uh, it's it's great. The, I mean, I'm waiting for the summer weather, but other than that, I have no complaints. And it's great, you know, keeping busy. Well, that's this good. Day. That's good. Yeah. yeah, you're all over the uh, the talk shows and the podcasts, right? I've done a few things. Uh, yeah, I got a few things lined up. And yeah, so it's, it's you know, it's typical after something comes out. But, you know, of some course. people call me. I call some people, whatever. <laughs> All right. Well, that's good. I called you. I called you. That's right. Um, did you? Yeah, you did. So we're going to start with me being Stunad. And I had to ask you if if this was actually based on a real person because I Googled the name in the book and I couldn't find anything except for some old basketball player. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, 
Did I miss? Because I said it was a true crime and you got it based. So just tell us a little bit. I, I want to know how you came to, because this is so different from The Last Longshoreman. It's, it is completely different. And I can't take credit for the name. And I don't know how you even said the name without laughing because everyone else pretty much, but you maybe have said it before. I don't know. But um, no, it's Al, is a, he's actually a, an acquaintance of my co-author, Mac Maloney. And they were sitting at a bar one time and Al said, out of nowhere, just, uh, hey, you want to know how to get rid of a body and not get caught? And my co-author was like, wow, that'd be a great name for a book. So he started recording Al and all his ridiculous stories. And then long story short, no pun intended, this is what we have, the book, How to Dump a Body and Not Get Caught. So that's how it came up. And um, we're very happy with it. So it's doing well, too. How did how did you get involved uh, with this project? He uh, So Mac does mostly military spy type of stuff. He's got about 60 books out there. And um, but so this goes kind of this is, uh, I guess, off brand for him. Uh, it, it sort of touches my brand a little bit. Um, so he asked me if I wanted to come on board and I was like, yeah, let's do it. Well, I have to say, I didn't know what to expect when I started <laughs> reading it. And it really I mean, first of all, Al Ferrari, what a character. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, it was nuts. You know, it's it, him and his uh, sidekick, his dimwit buddy, just run around and screw things up. And in the end, you know, good things happen. But you, you, you can't. Like I read some of these things, and I'm like, this cannot be true. This yeah. cannot be true. Like, I, but it's it was really very, um, very enjoyable, very entertaining, and you really <laughs> it kept you going. You know, it just kept, I read it, I sat down to start it and, um, cause I got the book last week and I read it in a day. <laughs> I just, yeah. I just kept reading. Yeah. Wow. So it really is a beach read. Like I've been saying. No, but it's, <laughs> it just kept you going. Like you didn't want to stop because a page turner, I didn't want to forget where I was and then have to go back. So I just kept going on and I had to see what was going to happen with Al next. Yeah. The next train wreck that comes along, you know, see how bad it's going to be. Things like that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> But I'm glad you Googled them because that was kind of part of the plan. Like people are going to Google Al and see, you know, but we have to change things. So Yeah. Well, they're going to see a big, tall basketball player who <laughs> I don't think is with us anymore because I think I saw obituary Al Ferrari and I was like, <laughs> okay, rip Al. Sorry. We had no idea. Yeah. Rip Al. We had no idea. It happens. It happens. It does. Right. To all of us sometimes. Um, so what's going now? What's, what, is there anything going on with this? You said it's doing quite well. Is there hopes for anything further with it or with your, any of your other um, books? Yeah, so there are eyes on it in L.A. right now. Um, so we'll see what happens there. I mean, I've been there before, so I don't I don't get as excited as I used to be. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, we, we get it with this communication back and forth, which is good. Um, so I'm, I'm hopeful that it'll happen with this one. Um, but I haven't heard anything from my agent about it, but. The last longshoreman is the one that I everyone feels like should be there, you know, um, and um, it hasn't yet. But I feel like something tells me I'm, I'm getting it like an inch closer, like every year to that. Someone comes along and someone like in the industry mm -hmm. and they'll, you know, just say, you know, this. Yeah. Yeah. This this one, I'm going to buy it. And this this could be whatever. But again, I, I try to just like temper my expectations and. Well, wait for yeah. this one. As I was reading this, I was like, this would be a great movie. And it was, it, it was so, I don't even think you'd have to embellish. You didn't, you wouldn't even have to do Hollywood creative license, you know? It's just so outrageous, the things that go on in this book. And then, then once that's there, then you get that longshoreman right in there. And then that's the blockbuster right there. I think so, right? Like so a lot of people saying this one, how to dump a body. Um, could be a series maybe on Netflix, get chapter after chapter, because it's, it is comical, you know? And uh, I've gotten the same kind of like sort of review with The Last Long Show, and that could be a series, but I see that more of as a movie. Mm -hmm. But you know, I think both bring attention to each other right now. I think I'm noticing. Yeah. Also, um, all we can hope for is the, is the best, so. Well, I feel like that's happening a lot now. I feel like a lot of like shows that they're doing on Netflix are based on like books. Like I feel like they're doing it a lot more now, especially because of like TikTok. Like everyone like shares what they're reading, and then people want to see it as a show. So you gotta find your way onto book talk, as they, as they call it. 
I looked at it. I, I was, I was kind of, I thought it was under one when book talk, but <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. Yeah, yeah. I could see that as a limited series. Yeah. I, I think, um, I think a series, I mean, obviously has more legs than a movie. It just keeps going and going. The anticipation is just outrageous for certain series, you know, if it's good. So I think they lean more towards that in production these days. I don't know. You, I mean, maybe you know more than me, but. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Well, that one I just was watching "Fool Me Once" was mm -hmm. a book. That was based on a, a book. I think Fool I read the book actually. Yeah, you have you heard of it? Yeah, Carl I heard. It. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it that's it was good. It's a the book was a thriller, so they just made it into like an eight episode limited series, which eight? I feel like is. Yeah, you know, see, you I, this that. could definitely be the limited series. Oh, that's Netflix. the new thing. That's the new rave, right? Who do you read? Do you like? Is there anybody who like influences your oh, writing? <laughs> now, <laughs> Sorry, Truman Capote is, stands on the top of Mount Olympus for me. Wait, who was that? Truman Capote. Oh. So if I, but yeah. however, like I haven't, it's been a while, like my next book, I think maybe you'll see some of his style, not, I mean, not his, I mean, he's, he's, he's incredible at, at what he does. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying I would ever be as good as him, but some of his style mixed with mine, I think in the next book, I, I think you'll see that, but he is a huge inspiration. And my favorite book of his is In Cold Blood. So sure. I think the writing is incredible. Right. Are you watching The Feud? No, no. The what, is that about him? It's about Truman Capote and all the women that he, um, pissed off and how they turned on him. <laughs> I will now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, like I, I think it's on, um, it's on Hulu or Apple, one of those. Oh God, there's so many, I can't keep I up. Know. I know. So what is your, your next book? Is it near completion or are you? Oh, not, no, not even close. I'm still, I'm still, I still have to pitch a little bit to my agent to get it going. And it's gonna be probably like a psychological thriller to try and fool everybody, you know? Nice. How long did it take you to write this one? Or well, I guess you co um, This one was like a year just because my co-author had a little medical in, uh, experience, uh, incident and uh, episode. And then, uh, so that delayed it for about a year. I feel like that's so, a pretty quick turnaround. Yeah, if you take that away, it was, I mean, it would have been two years, but then it was a year. So. Sure. Wow. Or vice versa. I don't know what I'm trying to say. What about when you write by yourself? How long? How long is the process for you? Um, so the last long show, I'm in a year and a half. I took three months off because just to regain some sanity, um, which helped, I think, with coming up with the ending. Um, but if it's, you know, one of these novellas can take six months or less, you know, if I had nothing to do, maybe three months. Mm -hmm. Well, that's you know. the pressure is really the ending because I'm. I'm like a big like book nerd, so I'm on my Goodreads app. I'm like picking a book. I go on there. Have you heard of Goodreads? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Listen, you looked at me like you didn't know Goodreads. I'm like, this guy's the worst author ever. I'm like, you're in the wrong business here. You don't know Goodreads. My God. Anyway, I watch careful. I'm a careful observer of Goodreads. So yeah, so I go on there. Some of the reviews can be scathing. So I'm going in there. And I'm I'm looking at the the stars it's getting. I'm looking at the first couple of reviews. Like I gotta see if I'm gonna read something. I gotta make sure it's gonna be right. Good. And a lot of times people will knock down some stars for a bad ending. So it's a lot of pressure. I'll I will never have that. <laughs> I might have one or two. Like like if you could you could probably cherry pick a few people like would have an issue with the ending of, of any of my books, but. The most part, I try to screw with the reader. To be honest with you, well, that's the best kind. If it's for too predictable, then you know, it gets yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm cognizant of that when I'm writing. I'm like, I want them to think it's this person or that person. You know, but like they think they know what it's the ending is just too fluid, whatever. But that's I can't do that. Right. How do you come up with your ideas? I mean, I doing stand up, I try to come up with new ideas for a joke, and it's just like a dry well. I can't think of anything. How do you how do you come up with pages and pages and pages for each new? Where do your ideas come from, or is it? I well, I mean, honestly, the last long showman was in, like inspired by my father, so that was a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. You know, he would take a look at a chapter and and just say, "Yeah, that might happen," or something that would never happen. I throw that chapter out, you know. But yeah. um, and with the way I write a book, though, I I typically write the bones of it, and I, then I it's like sixty pages, and I'm like, "How the 
F am I going to get this to 300, 350 pages? I'm, so my ideas, I don't know. They just, like, at that point, after that first sort of phase, like, it just comes to me. I, I wish I, I don't know. I wish I had, like, a, a better answer. They just kind of come, you know? And no, then, I'll be, like, I'm sorry. I'll, like, I'll be, I'll go days without writing anything, but I could be driving in the car and just all of a sudden it hits me and I can't wait to get back to the computer and just get it down. And it kind of connects with another chapter, another chapter, you know, so it's a little You don't send yourself voice messages and things like that. So you don't forget. Nah. 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 Are you <laughs> out, are you doing like an outline or are you just like, no. <laughs> wow. This guy is just, he's just writing books. <laughs> He does whatever he wants. And he writes a book. I try to wing it and see what it right. See what happens. Makes himself some breakfast, and then he writes the whole friggin' book. <laughs> That's well, his process. I'm actually, I'm looking forward to when you finish this one. So, chop chop, come on. I'm trying. I'm trying. I, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get, get on my agent. Uh, I think it's gonna happen soon. The contract will happen soon. I promise. All right. I want to get back to guilt and into it. Can't come back empty-handed. You can't come back empty handed. Right. There has to be a new book. Yeah, we simply won't invite you. I have to read it in record time. <laughs> I mean, you'll invite me to Long Island, right? Just not on the show. Oh, 100% sure. to Long okay. Island and on the show. Okay. 100%. Oh, even without a book. Even without a book. Wow. Even without a book. And I, because I remember when we finally met, and I'm trying to explain to the girls, they were like, what are you, who is this person you want to meet? And I'm like, it's Mark Zapula. And they're like, who's Mark Zapula? Yeah. And I had to go through the whole thing, you know. But then it was so nice to finally, after, you know, all the time talking and stuff, just to finally meet in person. And I know. I feel like we, should, I, I wish we had more time, but next time. Oh, yeah. Next yeah. time. What was that restaurant that we went to? Because you knew everybody in there. That was an Italian place, remember? Oh, is that where I threw the lobster by accident? Uh, no. no. I no, there was it. no lobster throwing that night. I got caught uh -huh. pepe there, and there were a lot of peppercorns in it. Oh, that that's was... right. <laughs> that's, we do remember that. They were big peppercorns, but that, that was... was... We can go somewhere else next time. Let me know. I'll, I'll make the reservation. That was the cantina. Ah, uh, yes, the cantina. I do remember that now. Very yeah. Good. Yeah, but lots of places we can go. Cantina is great, but, you know, lots of places we can go. So... Oh, yeah, Boston is chock full. So, so you're writing your book. Um Anything else you got going on or is that, is that basically, is that just you spend your days writing? No. So, um, in between books, I, I've, um, started writing for a magazine, a local magazine up here. It's called in Boston magazine. And, um, I kind of sort of fell into it, but I'm having a great time. I write, I write, I wrote the last cover story that they had and, um, the next one, I'm doing the next one too. And the next one is kind of exciting for me because, the uh, subject of it is is a guy named um, Jonathan Tucker. I don't know if you heard of Jonathan Tucker, but so Jonathan Tucker grew up in Charlestown, which is up here in Boston, you know. And um, he was in the show uh, Kingdom. Uh, you went to mixed martial arts, you know that show Kingdom. Well, the show, yeah. Plays a big role in Kingdom. He goes way back to the movie um, Sleepers with um, Brad Pitt. He mm -hmm. was one of, he's one of the kids that was causing all the trouble. But he's great resume, great guy. Um, and then I did, I did a full interview with him a few weeks ago. And so I'm going to write that article. It'll be in the magazine in right. April. And um, he's just a, I couldn't believe how, what, what an incredible guy like he is. But I mean, growing up in Charleston, you think, you know, he's, he, you know, thug, bank robber, whatever, nothing like that. Educated, genuine gentleman, great guy, you know. So when that comes out, I'll let you know, you know, I'll flash that everywhere because I'm looking oh, forward yeah. to it. Absolutely. And when I see you got to sign my, I, you got to sign both my books now. <laughs> I have, Wait, the two, I have yeah, a long woman. Yeah. Miami. I don't have my, that's the one I don't have. You don't? I don't. Okay. You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to send both down. Whatever you need, I'm going to send them all. All right. I How's need that? Miami uh, Underground, right? Yeah, yeah. Miami Underground. That's the yeah. one I don't have. So, but. Good. Bobby, can we flash the cover of the book? There it is. How to Dump a Body at Sea and Not Get Caught, the Al Ferrari Story by, was it Mac Maloney and Mark Sapula? That is correct. Great read. Uh, keep, you, keep you going. Keep you on your toes. And you just can't believe this guy. He's, um, he is, he's, his life is a movie. It's, it's, I have full confidence they're going to pick this up. 
<laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I feel bad for him, but I, I'm going to feel probably happy for him at some point because it's yes. something good's going to happen. Right? Yeah, well, it would be about time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for both well, of you. Mark, thank you so much for joining us on the show. We really appreciate it. It was good to I see you. you. I love follow you too. I'm so happy reads. you asked me to come on for real. I hope to see you soon. Yeah, follow him on Goodreads and follow him on Facebook and Instagram and every other place, right? What's Goodreads? What? What's <laughs> oh, thank you, All Mark. Thank you. All right, I'll talk to you soon. All right, take care. Oh, I could listen to that Boston accent. Yeah, I know. You, could, you didn't have to introduce where he was from. I know. I love that Boston accent. I really do. Yeah. I really do. All right. We are going to take a quick break uh, with our commercial with absolutely no voiceover in it for intense events. What do you mean? Was there supposed to be voiceover? Clamping and picnics. Yes, there's supposed to be voiceover. But the When owners... is this commercial going to be right? Soon, I hope. Oh. But here we are. A quick word from our sponsor. And we are back. We're look, here. I look like a convict. <laughs> look at my shirt. We had to. I'm in the big girl chair. Yeah. We had to. We had to get Judy on quick because she was yawning over there. She was. She was like playing TikToks. Loud. I'm tired. Loudly yawning. Hey, I pulled this morning. I'm up early. Right. Driving all over the place. You know. Putting in a full day. And you are. Putting in a full day. No naps. No. I'm not a napper. <laughs> not yet. Maybe just a little tiny, a little tiny nap, a doze. So, yeah. um, yeah, Judith, uh huh. Oh, look, people. Oh, oh look I didn't us. get the loafer oh. memo. Your <laughs> your uh, your hair looks lovely. Oh, you got yes. a haircut. Yes, I did. I did. I did. I, did. Got I this, like it. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Well, I, I was a little less than enthusiastic about it, and it. Uh, what does that mean? Well, it means that, you know, when you get done with the haircut, you mm -hmm. always have to be very complimentary. You have to go, oh, oh, wow. Oh, I love it. Oh, really oh, good. Not you. Well, <laughs> I was apprehensive because, first of all, I had an appointment with one operator, and before then they handed me over to another one. Operator? Operator? Yeah. That's what Did you had. get your hair cut in the emergency <laughs> room? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it looks like that. Yeah. I mean, they oh call them God. operators. They no, do. they call them hairdressers. Them? Not all the time. Who calls them operators? I don't know. Maybe years ago. In the Depression? During maybe, the Depression? Maybe. Did they go? That, that could be. That could be. It could okay. be there. Well, Judy yes. gets her hair cut with a scalpel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not supposed to come here and laugh. I'm supposed no. to make you laugh. Right, right. Oh, okay, God. anyway, the operators. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. anyway, so. I was a little apprehensive, and then at one point, you know, it looked like she forgot about this side that it wasn't oh. going to get cut or something. And I'm like, Did, "Are you going to do?" Oh, so you started questioning her professionalism? <laughs> yes, oh, yes, okay. because okay. because I know better. Because you, you know, know everything well, better. You know your own hair. You do. You, you know. don't. Yes, I do. But it, well, anyway, <laughs> she finished, and I guess she was a little pissed at me. Because I had hair all over my black pants, and usually right. they go, "Oh my God, let me fix that," you know, and they blow up. No, and then I said, "Can I see the back?" So finally, okay, she gave me a mirror, and um, I wasn't too generous with the tip as I usually am, <laughs> but it wasn't a bad tip. But it was only a haircut. I mean, come on. All right, I'm going to give you some advice. No, I don't want you. Don't go back there. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Will you let me finish? Oh, okay. Oh, I was feeling very bad. I was because then, you know, I went over to Amy's, my daughter, and, and she goes, let me play with your hair, you know, and she shushed it up a little and everything, and it looked good. And then, of course, Tavia loved it. I've had nothing but good feedback. Mm -hmm. So I said, you know, I really, I have to apologize. So I did. How did you do well, that? Instagram. Are you proud of me? You DM'd her? What did I do? Oh, no. You posted an apology on <laughs> A her public page? apology? No. You messaged her? Yeah, it was her own. On Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a okay. DM. What is a DM? A direct, direct message. message. To her? Yeah, yes. Yeah. I didn't go on everybody. No, we hope not. I hope, yeah, I hope no, not. Because she answered me. Sorry, no. I thought you screwed up my hair royally, <laughs> but actually you no, didn't. I didn't say that. That's not the at kind all. of feedback I really everyone wants on their phone. Page. Over. I should have brought my phone and read it so we could have. And did she, did. did she accept? Stop right back to me. No problem. Uh, you know, uh, well, water under the bridge. Yeah. His, historically well, no, speaking. Let me just preface this a minute. When I've gone there a few times, uh -huh. she usually like would assist the girl that does my hair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when I saw her coming to do my hair, I thought, is she qualified? You know, she'll take the curlers out. Or, you right. Know, She's no whatever. operator. She was a scrub nurse. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. Maybe it's just an order. Right. Me. Yes. Uh, yeah. So anyway, transporter. So at that. I was, you know, just a little, yeah, a little apprehensive, mm -hmm. but. In hindsight, she did do a very good job. I'm a little fuzzy today because because the weather. Right, it looks Maybe. good. It looks anyway. nice. But yeah, um, it does. It looks, it looks very cute. And historically, you are a nightmare haircut patient. Uh, no, I'm not. Customer. Yeah, just patient. Patient is appropriate yeah. <laughs> at this point. <laughs> no, I am not. I sit there very quietly and let them do their thing. And don't you tell me otherwise. Okay. I never gave anybody a hard it's time. It's not the hard time. I think it's this. This is what gets people nervous when they're doing your hair. And this is you. Nervous? This is you. <laughs> well, what? What am I supposed to With do? With a scowl. And no, you, no. And you <laughs> don't listen to her. I'm sorry, because, because she's like Miss Pollyanna all the time. Some of us are there for a haircut. Not to make friends. That's the thing. She right. hates the social aspect of it. I She's do. like, why do they have to talk to me? I just want a haircut. <laughs> but it's true. Her, honestly, I'm, if you I'm could put you, person. they should put you under anesthesia. <laughs> <laughs> and just wake you up when it's over. That could be good. They should knock you 100%. out. 100%. 100%. Get, get an anesthesiologist in there and just knock you out. Wake up well, and you're done. Right. Okay. All right. Like, I give you that. Like the uh, dentist, what, maybe we can get say? you a little sweet air or what, something. What can I say? I can't right. compete. I'm in the middle here. I feel like an well, Oreo. And next bean. time you guys need to get a haircut, they they do them at Good Samaritan Hospital. <laughs> <laughs> walk-ins, they take walk-ins and Empire Blue Cross this, Blue Shield. This this was a, an appointment. I had a, an appointment. An Good. Appointment. It was a, right. a a day, you know, in and out. Right, of course. <laughs> Procedure. Good. Oh yeah. yes. Good. Yeah. Ambulatory. Yes. Ambulatory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, so anyway, that's kind of the comments. Yeah, but it was see. lovely. She's mm. very good. Oh my and god! Go back. Now, how do I go back to her and skip over the girl Wait. that I usually? You have her Instagram to. now. You can message her and make an appointment. Make it like a. Yeah, can that. we do this on right. the DL? Mm -hmm. That's the yeah. Down can we love. meet in the back? Right. Um, so, what is your question? All right, my survey. This came up at work. I don't know why. Don't ask me why, but. How, when you are putting a regular bra on with a clasp, mm -hmm. how are you doing it? Front or back? It, it's in the, in the back. The clasp is in the back. How are you doing it? Both ways. So are you, are you, are you there's two options. You either are reaching yeah. behind you or you're clamping it in the front and turning it yeah. around. Well, either or. I reach behind. Right. But what do you mean either or? Well, some days maybe one for her is a little tighter than the other. <laughs> and you know, I'm old. I can't get my hands back there as much, but. 99% I do in the back. In the back. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Uh, I'm finding that it's more of a split than you would think. Really? I'm thinking a lot of the, so a lot of the younger people in the office all do it in the front and turn it around. To me, like, what are you, 12? What? That's probably you how they learn. You, yeah, but you, that's like a, a, that's a toddler way of doing it. 
You know what I mean? Not a that's like not still a doing woman. the bunny ears to tie your shoes. Right. That's what I'm saying. It's and they're like, ladies well, out in the audience, can we weigh well, in I on know, this? I know yeah, my, some feedback. my sister has always done it in the front. What is this? Because then you got to shimmy your arm through the. No, that's pretty. Easy. And then you got to wiggle and get everything all situated. I just don't think it's as convenient. And people are like, oh, it's way harder. Why am I going to break my arms? Well, yeah, it's a lot easy. of people think it's impossible to, right. to do it in the bed, but it isn't. It's it's easy. All right. Somebody said clamp and turn. Is that what you mean? You that's did in the, the front? Yeah, the, yeah. The and then front? they turn it. Yeah. This is crazy. That, I, that is crazy. Right. Because I've never, ever thought. The only time I will sometimes do that is a strapless bra. Always, for some reason, always with a strapless. I can understand that. I don't know what goes on with a strapless that you can't do it. Because you don't have this, the, yeah, you don't, the shoulders to hold no it in support. place. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. Just, so you got you to... Gotta... Either that or you have to do it way down here. Right. But people were trying to say to me, like, well, how do you know you got the right clamp, like the clamp on it? But it's you like, tell. of course you could tell. You feel, you could tell. You feel it. Right. How do yeah. you know you tie your shoes if you're not staring down at it while you're doing well, it? You, same know, you thing have you... basic senses you put a necklace on right okay but this is probably another debate i i clasp in the back so do i sometimes it takes me four five six yeah, seven ten tries yeah, until <laughs> i get it and at that point i'm like oh and then i do it in the i front. don't need this necklace how do you do it in the front <laughs> a and necklace you need, you need yeah. a mirror no if you if you just put it and then here and then well it depends it. if it's if it's a long necklace well, now, I can, but if it's I a have short another necklace, dilemma. Yeah, I, need a I have another little dilemma. Okay. I have a blouse that I just bought and it's got a tiny button and a oh little my loop. God, yeah. I okay? hate those little baby doll yeah, buttons. Yeah. But I thought about it. What I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna put my arms through. I'm just gonna put it over my head <laughs> and turn it around. <laughs> And do it in the front. Now, honestly, I have some shirts like yeah. that. That is a brilliant idea. Do you know how many times I have spent I standing there trying to get it? Then you start to sweat, right? Right, I because you sweat. can't get the thing, and you're getting yeah. aggravated, right? But why do they put the like? Uh, you know what I mean? All these little fasteners. I don't know. The dress I just bought that. for the wedding has one of those little buttons. Oh, oh, you oh I hate that. The little wedding. I did. Oh. The little eye hooks in the back. Mm -hmm. It's not even the eye hook. It's the little button with the... No, the little button with the string yeah. is... With the well, mine elastic. Well, elastic, yeah. Yes, of it's course. It's still... Or I thought about maybe like putting a paper clip or something on the little loop and pulling it. That's... But then the paper clip is on there. And yeah, you that's look a lot of no, work. No, no. no, I like the way you do it better. Yeah, well, I, I haven't tried it, but I Stop think, why touching it... your microphone. Why wouldn't it work? I, I forget. I think it'll work, but then are you going to be able to get your arms in? Because oh, yeah. to me, I'm picturing those those types of shirts don't generally have a lot of give. Well, it's going to give. <laughs> it's going to give. It's going to be like the whole no busting choice. through it. That's right. No choice. It's got to give. All right. Well, I, I want to know how I that think goes. I'll go home and try it. Yeah, try it. I want to know. Could you videotape it? <laughs> yeah. We won't post it, but just for I'll us. Have, I'll have a video. video it we just want to see how that's going to go. <laughs> He's all happy. He'll he's like, like, look, his eyebrows went up and he's like, ooh, <laughs> videotape. <laughs> that's fantastic. Yeah. That's fantastic. Well, that's, that's, it. how yeah. did that even become a question today? It became a question because, all right, so I was at work. Obviously, I work at a, um office, a car, you know, a lot of chiropractors. So they were doing like ultrasound and stuff on my back. So I, they had to like unhook. My, my whoa, 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 whoa. What? It, Why were they doing ultrasound on your back? Because because I had a gym injury. I, I pulled my I pulled a muscle. It's probably because of your form. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I had an injury at the gym. And not an injury, whatever. My back was tight. And I needed <laughs> <laughs> so they gave me an adjustment, whatever. So I'm um, like, I was on the table and they were doing ultrasound on my back. So whatever. Then I I refastened it, but I reached around, and then the girl was making fun of me. My friend was making fun oh, of me because she's that's... like, "What? That's crazy that you do it that way." Well, let me the original way. I think I that agree. that is that's the they, way you do and, it. And I will say this too: there was a time I would say back in the eighties when the the craze was front. Oh yeah. Button. But yeah, bras, there's still some of them. Obviously, not that many bought them, so they don't really. There's not that not many around. of them. There's not. I know I some they do exist, but I yeah, feel like they're, they're not very rarely. To these girls now, here's the follow-up question for tomorrow. Okay. What about your bikini? Do you 
turn it around and tie your bikini in the front and then swing it around? Or do you just turn? That's a good question. Oh, the bikini bra. Yeah. yeah. Or oh. do you just tie it in the back? Well, now here's some crazy feedback. Well, you get somebody one, to do it for you. I was now asking around all my friend groups and stuff. And then those people were then asking their people. I got feedback from one person that said they fasten it and then step into it like <laughs> pants. <laughs> what? Okay. That's crazy. Yeah, that, that really person. Is. It would we never, need to take that you away. Can't never do that is fit over my backside. <laughs> that is how I, I don't know. I could never do that. But they step into it like pants. Well, it wouldn't get beyond. That's my, crazy, right? But it would be. Like, I want to know when we go off the air who that is. I, I will let you know. <laughs> yeah, you better not tell me it's your sister. <laughs> no, it's not. It's absolutely not. She was. She was. I think she was behind the back. She is Amy watching? I'm surprised Amy didn't. Uh, oh. Annie, we just wrote, Grace does that shit. She steps she into steps it. She steps into it like pants? Grace does that. What is this? What is this? I'm telling you, the younger they get, the weirder things that they do with their clothes. Because yeah. it was all the young people that fasten it in the front and then turn it around. Like, they never, it's like, what are you, Peter Pan? She Grow up. Into it. She steps into it like pants. She steps into a bra. Right, Denise. who's that proportion? Ooh, what does yeah. she have, the, the proportions of a two by four? I don't know. Oh. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. I couldn't, no. I'm trying it tomorrow. Not gonna lie. Try it. I'm gonna Fasten try it. Fasten it and try and step into it like pants. I don't think it's gonna work. Of course not. It's not Mine going over the certainly board. won't work. <laughs> All right. Can I share something a little personal? Sure. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. Not personal, sure. personal, but Please, so do you remember how I told you a couple of weeks ago I fell in my house on the stairs? Yes. And I got that big bruise right. on my butt. You got a life alert? Oh yeah. I have a dent on your body? In my butt cheek legitimate like a dent in my butt cheek i don't think they can dent oh it dented oh it dented. i'm gonna have to see that later yeah, i'm gonna really. show you because it is the only way it could have dented was if a big chunk fell out mom i'm telling you i don't know it was traumatized because it's still dented oh, great you know <laughs> when, when she fell on her head like two right. years from now she'll have to get a butt implant or right something. of course <laughs> <laughs> I can't read it. Rich Walker just held up a sign that said, it's your asshole. <laughs> it's my butt right. cheek. You're, you don't have a dented butt cheek. It, it, indentation, you can feel it. Feel it? You can see it. Is your ass made out of silly right, putty? I, I don't, I'm not showing you now, but I am going to show you after. And then next week you're going to go, it wow. It was true. It was true. Wow. Yeah. You, you're you like. You fall a lot. Right. I know. You're very you, frail. Uh, yeah, really. I am. You would think, now you would think for yeah. somebody who has peak physical <laughs> fitness that she'd be able to stay yes. on her feet a little bit you more. You would think, right? But well, here she was... is absolutely throwing herself down staircases, oh, no. getting dented like she's an old pot. I mean, come on. You can, Mark's a pool says I can buff it out. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm trying to use the dry brush. That's supposed to like the get what? All, the dry brush. You ever heard of dry brushing? No. What is that? Dry, dry brush? brushing. It's like a, a medium bristle brush. It's soft and you're supposed to brush it all over your skin like three times a week. And it supposedly gets off any, you know, dead skin or whatever, but also gets the lymphatic system going and, mm. and it's supposed to be very good for you. What have I been you, doing and all you, these right. years? And you can get that done at your local groomers. <laughs> can go. And they'll do that. They'll brush yes. you. And as a Lime Life beauty guide, I can or, guide you oh God, to some we were great so close. body oils. We were so close. <laughs> oh, my God. So wait, so is the brushing supposed to fix your ass dent? I, I don't I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What if you got a plunger? And oh, yeah. yeah, like they do with the cars. Right. That could be. They suck that it could back be. out. Get the dent right out of there. Take you to I don't an know. auto body shop. It's it's bad. It's bad. You I'm can't... concerned for the summer. Because never mind if, that. You're gonna How see are your part... bones? How are the bones? Mom, this, right. this How is... are your bones? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it could be the bone I know. collapsed. Of course. And that's why she has a dent. No, there's there's no bone in your butt. It's all sure there fat. is. There's the bone, but not like no, I didn't break any. I'd be in excruciating pain. I don't know. Soft tissue? It, I think it's a soft tissue, and I hit it so a hard that it just went. Where, how, wow. where, where, where did you? How? A couple weeks ago. Remember, I fell upstairs in my no, house. No, I don't remember. Oh, I fell. 
she fell. My foot going up the stairs. Going down the stairs. Going down. The stairs. Yeah. yeah. The, why don't you put a runner or something on it, those stairs? It was right. The, it was the little lip at the top, and I just I was barefoot. I'm not usually barefoot. Mm -hmm. And she's the one that worries about me falling. That is accurate. Mm. That is accurate. Uh, I did almost more, take a header down a the A little more fleet-footed. <laughs> thing of laundry. <laughs> yeah, see, that's my fear. Oh, God. All right, I can't. <gasps> you're so, you're precarious. In that, in that, that basement of death. Right, I like death <laughs> basement. Yeah, uh, of course. Of I like course you almost died edge. down there. <laughs> I like to live I on think, the edge. I think she needs the life alert. She does. I don't, you know what I need? I need that little seat that you attach to the stairs that will just mm. ride me a, down. You need a helmet. That no, I, I need body armor. Clearly, clearly. I need dent my head. <laughs> oh, not yet. Oh, wow. All right. Oh, so that's, Jesus. yeah, so that's, I shared that with um, everybody now who's watching. Yeah, that's and something. something personal. Do you have a gem? Did you come here with a gem today? Well, mm, that was, no, that was your I, gem? No, no. I mean, I don't, what, you know, what gem? What do you mean by gem? I have, well, I have here's things. the thing. You were, you were, your spot, you were shirked last week. Yes. So what did you have planned well, for that? I did. Anything? I, you know, well, I was thinking. Um, she only plans for John LaRocchia's show. She doesn't plan for our show. <laughs> so. I had. Well, anyway. Anyway, what were you thinking <laughs> Did you about? ever have this happen? It, it happens to me all the time. Like, I'll be peeling potatoes. Nope. And I'm right back to Mr. Connecticut. What? <laughs> What on I'm earth sorry, does what? that even mean? I don't know. It makes me think of Mystic Connecticut when I was there 35 years Who's ago. Who's Mr. Connecticut? Mystic. Mystic. Oh, Mystic. But what were you there for? Why were you peeling potatoes in dead. Mystic Connecticut? No, I never peeled them in Mystic. Mystic when I'm I am home. sorry. What? Certain things, certain actions you do, as yes. you're doing them, you think of the same thing. Every right. time you do that action. Because, like, personally, every time I boil pasta, I am transported <laughs> to Charlotte, North Carolina. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you don't get the point. It, and, and then if I'm putting on, right? if I'm blowing my hair dry, it reminds me of when Hawaii, I was of course. in Denver. Right. <laughs> every well, day is like a time travel but, for you. But I'm saying every time, every time, or something else that I do yes. reminds me. It, triggers yes i understand i do understand what you're saying the, the way you said it was so funny <laughs> well, i was peeling were potatoes you peeling potatoes I, in mystic connecticut what's the memory no, associated no, no. with that I like you why maybe is, maybe a restaurant or something i don't did you have to do pay, peel the potatoes because you didn't have money to no, pay no i think no. i think what we're experiencing here is some past Senality. lives Senality. yes dementia. or dementia <laughs> Well, I have to tell you, the women, I, a lot of women I bowl with, their husbands are experiencing dementia and they're all comparing, you know. And um, I hope they're not watching. But they just call them all out. <laughs> no, they know, you know, but uh, I, Do I, they? it's amazing how many men have dementia. Yeah. Well, <laughs> he's demented when he met you and he stuck around. That's how we know he's demented. Oh, oh. He's no. happy. He is. Of course he is. Well, I'm, that's I'm weird. We're going to have to have some writing sessions. I want, I want three weeks of gems in my hand by oh, next Monday. Okay, so I can pre-approve them. Just like a right. teacher. Just like a teacher. <laughs> right. You're going to keep me at the school. Oh, yes, gosh. But first of all, I, before I do that, you have got to write down what is a gem. I think we shouldn't do that because if we wrote down what is a gem, I don't think we would have got the peeling potatoes. And I don't Mystic think we would have gotten bit. the gem that, that we was, got. That is about But as, it's weird. That's a diamond. It's weird. That, that's what yes. I think about. No, I... <laughs> That's what that's what happens. I don't. I have. I, have I words, didn't. Folks. To be honest, I didn't know you've ever been to Mystic Connecticut. Well, I have been. Oh, clearly, and it was and significant. It wasn't that much fun. You're right. I guess if the memory's peeling potatoes, it yeah, wasn't. how great could it yeah. have been? It was rough. Wow. Oh tell my it. goodness. Off camera. Okay. All we'll right. talk about Mystic Connecticut off camera. That's funny. Yes. So, so Bridget, oh. what do you um? Oh my God. What do you um have coming up? Show wise. Yeah. Well, we'll both be at Rico's Pizza tomorrow. We will be. 
in Merrick. That's yes. a free show, I believe. There it is. Yes. On the and it will there. benefits That's laughter, good. saves lives. Yep. Absolutely. Rich Walker right there in the center of the pie. <laughs> yes. Oh, really? Probably the more... floating head of Rich Walker. <laughs> yes, very good stuff. What's He's next better than for me? pepperoni. He is. Um, yeah. And then I believe on the 16th, I'll be somewhere. Stay tuned. Absolutely. Specific. Don't know where that's going to be yet. Um, yeah, I think that's that's all I'll say for now. Come to Rico's tomorrow. I think yeah. some of my coworkers might come, oh, so good. we'll see about yeah. that. Come to Rico's. I have um, Get some... I'm going to be in the giggle room on the 30th of uh, March. Mm -hmm. And then on Ask me where I'll be. Hold on, I'm not done. I'll tell you in a minute. April 13th. She'll be in Mystic, Connecticut. <laughs> yeah, peeling potatoes. <laughs> on April 13th, I'm going to be in Allentown, Pennsylvania at the Lehigh Comic Con. Mm. And then on the 14th, I will be in Fairfield, Connecticut, uh, Fairfield, New Jersey at the Paisan Con. Oh, the Paisan. Hey, oh, the Paisan Con. Wow, okay. Yes. That'll be good. That is a new one. My, fr my friend Freddie Tenor is uh, from the Wise Guy Show. He is, he is starting that and that extended sense. an invitation. And unfortunately, I can only do the 14th. Right? She has a lot of friends, a lot of and, people. And where, where will you be appearing this weekend, Judy? No, no. You said on the 30th. The oh. 30th. I'm just, I'll be in Florida. Oh, oh. that's good. That's, that's good. Nice. Stay out of the villages. Will you actually be in Florida or will you just be making a hot soup somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> well, I might. I don't, you know, who knows what I'll think of when I'm making soup? Who knows? Who knows? But anyway. Oh, man, that's good. Love. Well, it has been lovely. And thank, thank you for, you. thank you for entertaining us. Yes. And thank you good. to our. Uh, guest, Mark Sapula. Absolutely. Thank Read you, Mark. Book. Look forward to reading um, Miami Underground. Mm -hmm. And next week, Bridget doesn't even know this, because next week our guest is going to be none other than John LaRocchia. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes. What a yes. treat. Turning the face. Yes. What a treat. And so uh, that is pretty much, that's it for us, right? We're done. We're, we're good. We're done. We are done. The show has concluded. And I it's want you. reached its conclusion. It's, it's reached its peak. And mm -hmm. uh, we're going to have to have Otto on. Yeah, uh, we'll when we Otto when we have here. a, because uh, all the comments, <laughs> we want Otto. We want Otto. Every, everybody right, loves you. Well, we got to get him in here next well, time. So talk about his emails. Electricity. He can talk about a lot um, more than that. <laughs> At least he doesn't think about Mystic Connecticut when he's peeling a potato. He might can't help it. I don't know what it is. Somebody has to diagnose it. I don't know. Well, don't yes, know. we'll talk about your diagnosis. There are certain things you do every every time you do it, you don't realize it. You're thinking of the same thing. I agree. I think I know what you're saying. Mm -hmm. I know what you're saying. It's just it was a it was weird, just a funny example. It was I liked a funny it. example. It was. It good. was a good example. Well, it was true. All right. Well, All right, then. thank you everybody for tuning in. Um, we'll see you next week, same time. Oh, man. I know. It's tough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>